a good feat to stand on because of all the sources of news for Ghanaians, and this is over seven years. Look at newspaper's performance. This is Afrobarometer. 5% people depend on newspapers for news. Internet, 19%, but it's growing. Social media, 22%, is growing. Television, 47%, zigzagging, but trending upwards. Radio has to be careful. It's flattening. This is really the summary of what we've said so far. If you stretch this line, internet, social media could overtake radio in the next few years, internet penetration permitting. So what should we do? Given the high cost of internet and the low broadband penetration we have in Ghana, media owners have to find ways of not only integrating new media into their programming, but also have to find ways of being profitable without having to sacrifice their independence. One of the principles of good journalism is that, quote, journalists must be independent of the people they cover, unquote. This is important not just for the individual practitioners, like myself, but also the media houses they work for. An important way of achieving this is to have diversified streams of revenue. The more diversified the business source of revenue and advertising, the less control an advertiser will have over them. It's like what they call the single obligor limit in banking. Our independence as journalists is hinged on the independence of our media houses. So it's not just an editorial independence. It must be ideational, financial, and political. So I've said this before. Poor pay cannot be a justification for accepting bribes. But media managers must be innovative in coming up with business models that are viable and diversified so they can pay their journalists better. There appears to be a limit to how journalists stay in Ghanaian media. You can watch Wolf Blitzer. He's in his 70s, been hosting this show for years. By the time somebody is 40, wife has two kids, they are thinking of a new job, possibly PRO for some mining company, because we can't pay them well enough. That has to change. If media is going to bring the transformation we need, we need quality, trustworthy voices, some of who are older, to stay in the profession.